Peach County leaders today revealed two back to school options that have some parents unhappy. Wanya Reese explains these options and what some parents have to say. They have offered only two options, which both require high speed internet. And that's just not possible. It's not feasible for many of the families in the county. Ashley Byron has two kids enrolled in Peach County schools. Byron says the district's potential plan for this fall does not work for her family. While it may be perfectly reasonable for other areas of the state, it's not appropriate for Peach County residents. Mom of three, Brandy Griffin, agrees saying virtual learning isn't best for at least two of her kids that need extra help. I just I don't see it being beneficial for my two at least. Right now, Peach County is considering two options. Option one includes two days of in-person instruction and two days learning online, with a teacher being available for help on the fifth day. If parents pick option two, their kids would learn online 100%. Elementary students would commit to learning online for the first nine weeks, while middle and high schoolers would have to stay online for the first semester. Parents would have to provide technology, but the district is working on providing devices and internet service to those in the county because they need that one on one with no distractions and able to really focus on their schoolwork. Despite the risk, both parents I spoke to want their kids in school with safety precautions in place. I think that a, a perfect world solution would offer options to families, families who feel comfortable having their students return families who would prefer perhaps the hybrid option and have access to reliable high speed internet. Reporting in Macon, Wanya Reese 13 WMAZ News. The district says the two options would allow for social distancing. It is important to note this plan needs to be approved by the school board first. Right now, school is scheduled to begin on August 3rd in the county.